Hi guys, Nikki here, and today we're going to be unboxing the May 2017 Horror Block. Uh, horror Block is a Nerd Block subscription box for horror, obviously, and it is my first Nerd Block box. Um, I ordered this in conjunction with the Nerd Block Grab Tea, which you can check out the video already up on my channel. I'll put a link down below for you. Um, and it costs about $19.99 a month plus shipping and handling. Um, shipping was about $14 for me because NerdBlock is a Canadian company. So I, the total for this box came out to about $34, which is a little pricey. Uh, but I really wanted to check it out. I'm a huge horror fan. This is kind of the prime horror box I've seen around. So um, I'm kind of excited to see what they have to offer. Um, this box came in today. It shipped a little bit late. Uh, they had an issue with the printing of the t-shirt or something, so they will be sending the shirt that was intended for this box at a later date, and they subbed something else in here, I think another t-shirt. So um, we'll go ahead and get this open and see what's inside. Um, I'm actually kind of digging the box. If you can see, uh, they have a lot of really cool like horror silhouettes on here. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I think the design is really great. And of course, black and red. Um, I've already removed the plastic wrap that's on this box just to make it a little easier to open. So here we go. When you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. It looks like there is a note on top. So let's check it out. Dear NerdBlock customer, we thank you again for your continued patience. We're still experiencing a printing delay but didn't want you to wait any longer. So we've included a mystery shirt from a past block as a bonus. Plus, you'll also receive your May shirt once it is available. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. The Nerd Block team. So that's apparently what's happening. Um, so when I get that shirt in, I will let you guys know. They teased a Nightmare on Elm Street item in this box. Um, and that's probably one of my favorite horror movie franchises. I love Wes Craven. So hopefully that wasn't the thing that's missing. Because uh, that's kind of partially the reason I bought this box. Um, so we'll set the t-shirt inside and do that later. Um, so I've watched a bunch of unboxings and uh, NerdBlack was having kind of a rough six or seven months. Um, I really wanted to try out a horror box because there aren't a ton on the market. In fact, if you know any that are affordable, let me know and uh, sound off in the comments and I'm happy to try them out uh, because I, I really want a good horror box. And they seem to be turning around, but we'll see. So it looks like we have a poster and I, oh my God. Okay, yes. So this is a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, movie poster. Um, and you can't see, but like kind of lining my walls, I have a ton of movie posters already and I don't have Nightmare on Elm Street. And I love this design. It's a pretty thick paper. Um, and I like that they had it in a cardboard tube to kind of protect it. And this looks a lot, uh, like a lot like the uh, the original movie poster that they would put up, you know, in cinemas. Um, maybe it's the same, or it might be like very reminiscent of. But I remember it looking something like this, and I love this. I love it. Um, I think that is so cool. I am super happy. This this was worth it for me. Like that's that's pretty badass. So that's our first item. All right, the next item in the box is Blood Type O. This looks like a freezer pack. Um, I work from home, so I don't have anybody to creep out here except for like my dog. Um, but yeah, this product is not microwave safe. Do not ingest. So yeah, it looks like a little blood bag, but I think it's probably like an ice pack. Um, but if you got this box and you actually work in an office, this would be really fun to freak out like your coworkers or your boss. Alright, so that's the second item. The third item is I'm perplexed. They put a silver yeah, an umbrella. There is an umbrella in this box. I have never received an umbrella in a subscription box. This is so weird. And it looks I'm confused. It looks a little is that the inside or the outside? How do I open this thing? Guys, am I going to get seven years of bad luck? Maybe. There we go. Alright, can you see that? Because I can't. Um, so the inside lining is very silver. What is the outside lining? 
Okay, so we have black, and it looks like, oh, Carrie. So I'm, I suppose that's supposed to be the blood spatter on the, uh, you know, when she gets the pig's blood dumped over her head. But it's not red. That's an odd color, tan. All right, I'm going to close this before I, like, hurt myself and poke an eye out. Um, I don't know what to think about this item, to be quite honest. I like it because it's useful. I, I don't know actually if I even have an umbrella anymore. Um, yeah, so that's, it's a weird material too. Um, that is the most unusual thing to put in a box, an umbrella. And again, I like useful items. It's just, it's just a little bit odd. And I don't know that I would have picked black and silver. I would have put some red on there, uh, like a little pop of color. Um, next item we have in this box is Rue Morgue Magazine's Women with Guts, Horror Heroines in Film, TV, and Print. So the two things I know about this box, reliably you get a t-shirt and reliably you get a Rue Morgue Magazine. And I like Rue Morgue Magazine. If you're a horror fan, I definitely recommend checking this out. So that's really cool. And I love that this is the issue on like women. Uh, looks like we have some Ripley, some Elvira, Jamie Lee Curtis. Nancy. So they have a lot of really great uh, issues. Mother of Tears, Daughter of Darkness. So that's cool. I, I like this magazine. And they're pretty expensive. They're about $10 an issue. So um, I like that you get one of those in each box. Alright, what is this? Burn the Rabbit by Joe Chianakis. Horror Book of the Year author. So this is actually signed by the author, and it looks like a digital download. So this month's horror block includes a free digital download of Burn the Rabbit, a $15 value, the hit sequel to Rabbit in Red, which was voted Best Horror Book of the Year. You also get a free download of Nightmares Under the Moonlight, a $10 value, the author's collection of short horror. Plus horror, horror block certifies that this print includes an authentic signature from the author. So that's pretty cool. I like that if they're going to give you like a digital download, at least they give you something like tangible. And, um, you know, me being a book nerd, I, I live for author signatures, author autographs, I guess. Um, so I like that. I like that they included this in there. Um, so that's pretty cool. So instructions on how to download. Um, if any of you have read those books, let me know what you thought. Um, I'm kind of excited about that. Next item is... Penny Dreadful, presented by Nerd Block. So I'm assuming that this is a Nerd Block exclusive. It's a comic book. Um, I have not watched Penny Dreadful. It's been on my queue for a really long time, and I'm kind of overdue to watch it. Um, and I love comic books, so I think that's a that's a really neat cover. And it is bagged and boarded too, so that's that's super important. And that is everything in the box, as you can see, empty. So let's go through and see what everybody got. Um, again, I'm going to say this, always check out the magazines and stuff, not just to make sure that you got everything that's supposed to come in the box, but, um, you know, they usually have really good articles, and I forgot to do the t-shirt. Um, so this is sort of the insert t-shirt that they included. This is a small Gildan Heavy Cotton, and it's like a dark forest green. So that's, this looks like the random <laughs> Cthulhu. <laughs> Awakens. Wow. Okay, so this is like that um, that Christmas, that really horrible like Christmas print, ugly Christmas sweater print of Cthulhu. So that's pretty cool. I don't love the color of the shirt, but I like the the design. That's really neat. Um, so that's cool. And then we'll see what shirt they include um, or that they send separately. I'll open that for you guys. Um, all right. So a look at what we got. The first thing that we got is the Carrie Blood Spatter Umbrella. And this is a Nerd Block exclusive, meaning that they made it. And they do this a lot. They make a lot of their exclusive stuff. Um, so that's our first item. I couldn't help but think that if Carrie had only had an umbrella, she would have been okay. But umbrellas you can buy from the store are just plain boring. It seems like a logical choice to design and create this awesome umbrella with a hydrochromic technology that actually changes colors when the rain touches it because it's just way too cool. Now, see, that's that's that little extra something that that item needed. 
Um, I'm assuming that the tan blood spatter turns red in the rain, and I will test it out and let you guys know, but that's really cool. Okay, so now I see how it fits. Still a weird item to put in a box, but I like that little touch of extra. Um, item number two is our blood bag freezer pack. So that's that. Um, item number three is our Rue Morgue Women with Guts magazine. And it is one of the most in-demand magazines for true horror fans. So I definitely recommend, even if you don't get this box, go to your local bookstore, go online, and order a copy of uh, Rue Morgue. It's really good. Um, number four is our Penny Dreadful comic book. Um, again, have you watched the show? What did you guys think of it? Um, I'm super excited to watch it. It's just, I have so much stuff on my queue and I, I never have enough time for it all. Um, and that is a Nerd Block exclusive cover. Item number five is the Rabbit in Red poster and download code. So this isn't really a poster, it's like a postcard, a signed postcard with the downloadable code for two books, the short stories, and then the sequel to Rabbit in Red, um, Burn the Rabbit. So we have that, that's item number five. Number six is our Nightmare on Elm Street print. So you can see that. And uh, it's a premium print with a unique spin on the original theatrical poster. Yeah, okay, so this is basically like a reproduction or something very similar to what the original movie poster looked like which I love. This is my favorite item in the box. I am, I'm so happy with this and I cannot wait to get it framed. Okay, and the last item is actually gonna be a Lost Boys t-shirt. So we did not get this shirt. It is a Nerd Block exclusive. It did not come in my box. So I got the, um, the like Christmas print, ugly sweater print Cthulhu shirt. Um, but they will be sending the Lost Boys t-shirt, and here you guys go, you can see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. And I like the Lost Boys, so, and I thought they had teased that in this box. So, that was the, the missing item, that's, that's the shirt that'll be coming in. Um, and that's everything in the box. So, in terms of thoughts, I think this was actually a pretty good box. I'm also a comic book fan, um, I like books, so I'm okay with the digital download. Um, I would have preferred the actual book, but I know that's not always possible, so I like that they included the signed card, um, and again, I'm a book nerd, so I like author autographs, um, since we have the code, uh, instead of just throwing a card in there with the code on it. So that, that was a nice little touch. Um, again, I do think that an umbrella is, is, it's a useful item, and I will definitely use it, and I like useful items. Um, it's a it's a bit weird to include in a box, but I've never seen something like this in a box. I do love that they had that little touch of it's going to change color in the rain. Let's see how effective it is. Um, but it's neat. It's just a strange item to put in a box. And then you know, this is just sort of a, a throw in, a little extra. Um, the poster, like I said, is by far my favorite. And then our T-shirt. Um, I can't wait to get the Lost Boys one. I will rock the shit out of that shirt. Um, so overall, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with this box. Like I said, I've watched a lot of previous unboxings over the course of like six or seven months. Nerdblock had kind of been like, eh, not really barely hanging in there. Um, I think they are definitely making a comeback and I'm super happy with everything that I got. Uh, the Remore magazine, again, the t-shirt, you can kind of always rely on the fact that you're going to get at least those two things and usually either like a comic book or, you know, something like that, a poster. Um, so those t seem to be standard items for this box and these were all really good and I'm really happy. Um, for a while they were relying very heavily on just like generic nerd block exclusives and we really only got one or two of those items in this box so um, that's not bad. And then in terms of value, do I think you get your value? So I paid $34 which is a little pricier than I usually pay for subscription boxes but it's also coming from Canada. Um, you figure ten dollars for the t-shirt I don't know I give maybe six or seven for the print um, the the book values they have at ten and fifteen dollars I don't know that you would actually pay that you could probably get them maybe ten dollars for the lot um, but I do like the the autograph you know the umbrella is probably six or seven dollars. The Rue magazine, Rue Morgue magazine, is ten bucks. 
the comic book's probably three or four dollars and then this I don't know like two bucks so I definitely think you get your value and then some with this box and I know for a while it had been a little touch and go um, so I think the value is kind of back I think the quality is back from what I've seen I'm really happy with it and uh, I will probably actually order the next box I tend to just do month to month and again I'm always on the lookout for a really good horror box so if you know any let me know in the comments below and um, I will definitely check it out that's all I have for you guys uh, if you like this video go ahead and click that thumbs up button for me let me know what your favorite item is in this box and if you've watched these subscription unboxings for nerd block over the last several months what do you think do you think they're making a comeback uh, what did you think about the contents and the items that we got? Um, are, are you, would you be happy with this if you're a horror fan and you got this box? And do you think it's worth the price, the shipping? Because it is a little more expensive than most of our other boxes that are U.S. based. So um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And like I said, click that thumbs up for me if you like this video. And if you want, I don't want you to miss out on any other, any other content that I have coming down the line. So go ahead and click that subscribe button that's here or here or here or somewhere and uh yeah that's all i have for you guys so thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys next time all right bye